piece for the last time we saw her? <laughs> um, it's a difficult question for me to answer. I've asked it many times myself, and um, I get very, very vague answers. But I know that she has been with Matty, and she's been travelling with him, um, and just kind of really trying to make the most of their relationship. Um, and the group has stayed in terms of like their friendship levels has stayed pretty much the same as it was at the end of the last series. So we're all very comfortable with each other now. And I mean, there's still kind of, there's still cracks, but they haven't quite opened up yet. She's a bit less of an outsider now then. Mm. Yeah, she, um, I think the connections that she made in the last series with, um, with Minnie, for example, uh, and Matty, obviously, and, and also kind of Grace and Rich and, um, and Allo. I mean, that, that's a very kind of sweet friendship, I think, those four, and that was there in episode one of the first series. Um, but she, you know, there are still kind of tensions between her and Liv, I would suspect, and after what happened in the last episode. Um, and it's still, you know, people, people blow hot and cold, and Minnie especially, and so that's something that kind of might change things. Were you surprised by the fans wanting Minnie and Frankie to get together? Um... <sighs> No, not really. I, I, we, we all suspected that that was what was going to happen. Um, and they actually held back a lot of the kind of mini Frankie relationship. Originally, there was a lot more, like there was a, there was a lot more happening in episode eight and more kind of implied in the episodes leading up to it. But, they changed it. They changed it in the edit. I think they wanted to kind of hold back. I think the longer you hold back on something, the more kind of important it is when it comes. But the way their relationship is in this series might not be what you expect. Skins is known for its controversial side, though. Have you got anything that you're nervous about coming up? Hmm. Um, Frankie has sex scenes <laughs> this year, which I haven't, I hadn't done until yesterday. Um, and that was a very kind of new experience. I mean, I'm, I'm under 18, so most, like, unless you can obviously see it's me, it's not me. Um, which, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to kind of hold back at this point. There's a, another another physical aspect, shall we say, um, which will be, I haven't done any of it yet, but it will be kind of mentally as well as physically challenging, I think. And I think it's a really good storyline. The storyline for Frankie is really strong this year and it's allowed me to kind of experiment a lot more and, uh, and push myself and challenge myself. Um, and that's been amazing. It's a really great experience. What's been happening to Rich and Allo since we last saw them? Um, well, they spent the summer together. I mean, they all, all the gang have, really. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah, we had it sort of a yeah, we've, very um, nice... We've, I mean, where we leave everyone on, <laughs> at the end of the Ep 8 of the last series, is everyone's quite, really, on the whole, quite united, very, quite friendly. And we actually, we all really go off and spend the summer together. Yeah. You know, having quite a wild time, but all as, you know, a group. Yeah. We I mean, saying that though, like, you know, the last scene in the tent, it's like very, you know, it's in a tent, it's fragile, it's like, it could go anywhere, this yeah, tent it's quite, could go um, off, and it's like, it's sort of a symbol for like the, the friendships, you know, it's very kind of it's quite temperamental. It's isn't it? Because I mean, even though it looks as if everyone's quite solid and together, there are a lot of issues still still there that have only just been resolved. Mm. So it's it's still a very fragile, you know, it's not it's definitely not the group from Ep one uh, I mean series one or two where they're all quite 
together and they're all very close. This is it's still quite a fragile yeah. set of relationships, really, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. What about Allo? Is he luckier in love this time uh, around? Yeah, he is a lot luckier. Uh, it's almost like, you know... He, he, he was always quite behind and he was quite, um, nothing really going on. And I suppose all the bad luck sort of culminated into, you know, into a massive basket of good luck, this series. If you can imagine a basket, I like to think of a basket full of eggs. You know? It's that sort of Easter... Good eggs. <laughs> I don't know why they're eggs. A basket full of happy no. joy and luck and, and love and life. Allo and Rich are in a band together as well. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? Oh, that was great fun, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're in a, if you can imagine, band. if you will, a love child of... Um, um, help me out. Uh, pulp. Um, pulp? Wait, Who's run with me, run with me. All right. A love child of pulp... Um, uh, in Stone Age. Queen's of the Stone Age. Yeah. Queen's of the Stone Age and, is probably... you know, Destiny's Child. Nah. That, yeah, nah. that, I think that's it. Because the glitz and the glamour. Destiny's well, Child. The glitz and the He's glamour. He's totally gone down. Nah, uh, if you can no. imagine, <laughs> a three-way baby. I don't know if that's possible. Is this the start of a beautiful music career for the both of you? Well, you know, I... Yes. You know, people people go, oh, you're in Skins now, so is, uh, is, is you know... Is it all exciting and stuff? But I'm still trying to look in the mirror and trying to <laughs> trying to be a rock star. Do you know what I mean? I still so want to be a fucking rock star. I would give up. I yeah. would give up this job yeah. to be a rock star. Yeah. I seriously. Yeah. Who doesn't want to be a rock star? Who doesn't? If someone came to me and said, "I will strip you star. of all the fame of skins, of the success of skins, the money of skins, the job of skins, everything, Scared. just just to play play in a shit band and tour," I would. Seriously. Yeah. Oh. But what if you were playing? You know, say Jim Morrison or something in a film. What, Been I done. Just, like, look at scouting for girls. How do they make money? But well, they do, don't they? I mean, honestly. Yeah, how do they make money? I don't know. I don't know. So there must be something in that. You know, um, we'd be better than that. Maybe. Should we? Should we slant bands? You know what we should take on the road. You know what we should take. We've got yeah. a new genre. It's called twat step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what we're going to make famous, right here. This is the new wave music of the 22nd century. It's kind of a century. cross between dubstep dub and being a twat. And being a twat. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's basically dubstep. An interesting just a, it's a more twatish version dubstep. of dubstep. Yeah. Um, twatstep, right there. Where's Grace been since we last saw her? What's happened to her? Um, well, Grace has been on a romantic summer, having fun with her boyfriend, Rich. Um, yeah, basically it's been the whole group, really, from when you last left them, starting to be a group, and then you're catching them now in the new series as they have been a group, and this is like the end of their summer. How are Rich and Grace, how's their relationship going? I think they're very much in love. Um, they're, you know, it's new romance type of thing and they're very comfortable with each other and they both, I think they're both experiencing first love. <laughs> what about Grace and her dad? What's going on there? I think Grace has finally got some freedom and uh, she's enjoying being a teenage girl, really. I mean, before it was very much, she had to be focused on her schoolwork and academia and all that sort of stuff, but now it's... <laughs> Now it's Grace having fun and living a life and being happy. And uh, but she still has respect for her parents. You know, she still has to have some sort of mutual. There still has to be a relationship going on for her to function with her friends and her father. Her father, basically, mean, mean basically like just her dad. Not really much her mum, but um, but it's just her dad trying to learn to let her go. So yeah, but I think that's that's what's sort of been happening. Do you think she's changed at all, at all since we last saw her? Oh yeah, I think she's not as annoying. <laughs> not like annoying, but um, I think Grace can be sometimes a bit like Marmite. Um, she either grates like on your nerves because she's so oh, she's so naive or a bit stupid. However, that's that's if you just look at her straight on. She's sort of pretending to be dumb so she can slip by and carry on with her friends and not really get noticed too much and get straight A's and stuff, but I think this time she's very much herself and her own person and 
it's sort of me not being a character, and it's sort of me putting myself into the character a lot more. Is he quite similar to Grace now, then? Um, to a certain extent, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's why they, they cast us, really. <laughs> I'm not an amazing actor who put all this into this role, but um, I've, I've worked hard on, on, on playing Grace. It's not, it's not easy, but because, um, you know, you have to be this separate person in a separate, like, skin's world. And um, I think it's... It's sometimes she can come off as, you know, quite annoying. <laughs> and, and it's nice playing Grace, who's had a summer to evolve and grow up. And I think that's, that's, where, I, that's where it's sort of similar, because it's me. It's, it's sort of, it's like me being sort of 17, like the way I talk, and not as high-pitched and little anymore. <laughs> and she's just, she's just, it's just very refreshing to be Grace. Do you think this will top the last series? I think they pushed a lot of boundaries to top the last series, and hopefully I think it will. I have faith that it will, uh, but it's, it's all down to taste, isn't it? I mean, some people may prefer series five to series six, but in general, it's still skins, and uh, we're still characters, and we've just gone through a couple of changes, and you've caught a glimpse in our lives when some big things have been going on. <laughs> So will Matty still be a mystery this series, or will we find out a little bit more about him? Um, I think that Matty uh, will still be a mystery, but a lot, you know, a lot was revealed. I thought last time, I think last time we spoke, I thought not that much would be revealed at the end of last series, but I think a lot... You know, a lot's been revealed, and I think the mystery really was in his relationships with the other characters. And I think what's clear and what's developed in the beginning of this series is 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 is, is Matty's relationship with Frankie and what that means and and how that that's developed between series five and series six. They basically um, have had this whirlwind romance. But, I mean, I don't know, would one call it a romance? I think it's more of a... a I mean, to coin a skins phrase, it's a head fuck, right? You know, on a level, I think um, they are in love, but they're also incredibly um, passionate and um, very sort of heady people who who have their own ideas about things. Basically, they've had this whirlwind time and they've got sick of each other by the end of the summer. And so they arrive in episode one. I mean, I think Maddie's still totally infatuated with Frankie. Absolutely infatuated with Frankie. But Frankie is sick of Maddie and wants something new. And you know what? I understand her. Like, I get that. I get it, you know? So it's not going to be easy for them? Um... No. Oh, ab like it's going to be it's going to be the most testing time. These 10 episodes will be the most testing moments of their their relationship. And uh, fingers crossed that will make for good drama. What about Matty and Nick? How are they getting on now? I think that is a that is the second foremost. I mean actually I think it becomes the foremost storyline for Matty. Um, but I think at the beginning it's the second foremost storyline and through various twists and turns and development, uh, <coughs> both the you know both the Frankie Matty and Matty Nick think they they merge in a way, and um, they all and basically I think by the end of the series that relationship that brother that that um, fraternal relationship um, comes to a head and in a big 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 way and I think yeah as seems to be the case with Maddie all the time it could go one way or it could go another and both ways could be equally devastating or fantastic for the group. <laughs>